We are here today to protest against the United States of America in particular uh, for its brutal human rights record. It goes around the world chastising other governments for their uh, avowed human rights violations. But yet, domestically and internationally, it has a very negative reality in terms of human rights. We know what has happened to George Floyd and hundreds of other black Americans in terms of them being murdered at the hands of the American police over the last number of years. And of course, we know the history of slavery and the genocide against the indigenous peoples of the America. Uh, it's something of um, uh, a sad reality that in Washington, D.C., there's a museum to the Holocaust, but there's no museum to the genocide against the indigenous peoples of the Americas. Uh, in particular, the genocide that occurred in the United States of America. Um, in particular, today I'm here because I'm the Secretary of the Caribbean Against Apartheid in Palestine Group, as you can see from the banner I'm holding. And uh, America has been intricately and massively involved in the genocide that's been perpetrated currently and has been for the last 70 years against the Palestinian people. Uh, currently, uh, uh, Mr. Trump has come up with this so-called peace plan uh, that involves the total theft of all Palestinian territory, in effect. Uh, they're creating Bantu stands, like what the apartheid government in South Africa created for the Palestinian people. Um, and uh, the Zionist government is talking about annexing, as they euphemistically call it, uh, the West Bank of Palestine, which is in fact the theft of the West Bank of Palestine. Sometime this month, they're planning to do that. And we in the Caribbean, with our history of slavery and our history of indentureship, we must be in the vanguard in globally in fighting for human rights. Uh, we cannot stand idly by. We were in the vanguard fighting against apartheid in South Africa. We must be in the vanguard uh, against apartheid in, um, in Palestine. Uh, America um, has been funding to a huge extent over the years Israel and protecting them diplomatically. In fact, one of the last acts of President Obama was to sign an agreement whereby America will be providing 10 billion, 10 billion US dollars worth of armaments to Israel. Without the United States support for their racist apartheid government in Tel Aviv, and I say Tel Aviv, not in Jerusalem, because that is a, 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 a place that uh, is, is currently uh, uh, under dispute. Uh, Tel Aviv is the uh, official capital, as far as I'm concerned, of the Zionist state. Um, uh, and. Uh, America has been aiding and abetting them uh, since their inception in 1948, protecting them diplomatically whenever the United Nations Security Council is about to pass a resolution condemning, condemning the atrocities committed by Israel, America vetoes it. Uh, so it's quite pertinent that we're here today. And uh, we call upon all Barbadians to stand in solidarity with people in Palestine. And further, I call upon the government of Barbados to recognize the state of Palestine. Mr. Barrow, the Honorable uh, Prime Minister of, of Barbados, had said that Barbados is friends of all and satellites of none. But so far, Barbados is not a friend of Palestine. It abstains on votes in the United Nations, and that is totally uh, unacceptable. And uh, I would call upon the government of Barbados to immediately establish diplomatic relations with the state of Palestine. Thank you very much.